Hello everyone, I'm the IFC Architect and welcome to the beginner floor plan in Bonsai version 0.8.1, essentially. We're going to be going through that basic floor plan, so please follow along. It's pretty straightforward and we should be done in about 15 minutes. Okay, so this is what our new interface looks like with our new icons. If your icons don't look like this, you're probably using an older or a newer version, just an FYI. So we're going to start by creating a project. We need to make sure that we have IFC4 demo template selected. So I'm going to say create project. You can see here on the left hand side, this is the outliner. It has all of the type products loaded in. So I'm just going to collapse that. Then just for quality of life, I would really recommend that you turn on snaps. So make sure that this little magnet icon is blue. And then these are the snaps I use. So you can just select and say shift to select the ones that are there. You can choose what you want, but this will just assist. So vertex, edge, face, edge center, edge perpendicular. And then for people who aren't familiar with this, I'd really recommend turning on your move gizmo. So that just helps when you have an object in the scene, you can just move it around. It creates a little gizmo that you can pull and adjust. And then for visibility settings, I would recommend turning on shadow if your computer can allow. And I'd recommend turning on cavity as well and changing the type to both. This just really helps with visibility generally. Okay, so once that's set up, we can get going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the wall. So I'm going to click on the wall tool. I'm going to press N on my keyboard and I'm going to turn on my screencast keys. So in the bottom left hand side here, anything that I do, you can see it's being recorded. If I press N, it'll say N and you know what's happening. I'm going to be using hotkeys throughout, but I'm also going to mention what the general keys are as well. I'm going to click on the little toolbar here. I'm going to open up the type manager, which is this little waffle grid thing and just reload the icons. I'm going to select the 200 wall and then I'm going to start drawing in our walls. I'm going to press 7 on my keyboard and it's going to align me to the plan view. You can also do that by just clicking on this little Z icon here with this little gizmo and it will align you essentially north oriented. So the Y axis is north south and then the X axis, this red line, is the east west. So we're going to get going with the wall tool. So we've got the wall tool selected, we've got the wall 200, and I'm going to press shift A, or you can just click add here, and it will ask, give you a little pointer. You just click and you drag it in a direction. I'm going to type in 10, 1, 2, 3, 10 meters. My units are in millimeters, but yours can be in any other, in any other metric or imperial measurement, it doesn't matter. And then in the Y direction, I'm going to type in 12, 500, 12.5 12 meters. And then the X direction, I'm going to type in 5 meters. And then Y again, I'm going to type in 6 meters. And then I'm just going to tap X and I'm going to snap in line with our starting point. And then I'm going to press Shift C to close it up and I'm going to press Enter. And you can see there we have our external walls. So this is 10 meters, 12.5, 5, 6, 5, and then we just connected those with Shift C. The next thing we want to do is add internal walls. So I'm going to go back to my uh, top down view. I'm going to go to my wall tool, I'm going to click on this little icon and I'm going to select the 100 wall. So I've just clicked on the icon and you can see underneath it says active. And then here I'm just going to say say shift A or we can just click add, shift A. I'm going to snap there, I'm going to bring it out, so I'm going to type in 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 meters and I'm going to press enter. I'm going to select this wall and say GY, GY and I'm going to make a space that's about 3 meters. So 3, 1, 2, 3 and then I'm going to select the wall and say shift D and press Y and I'm going to say 1.5 meters, so 1,500 mils, and then grab this again, shift D, Y, 4, 1, 2, 3, so 4 meters. Then I'm going to select this wall, I'm going to place my 3D cursor here, and I'm going to say, and I'm going to say shift E to extend it there. Then I'm going to say shift A to draw in another wall here in the Y direction to align with that one, enter. So if we go back into our 3D space, we can see we've got our external walls, we've got our internal walls, and we can move on to doors and windows. So same story, we're just going to go to our doors here, click on the door tool, launch the type manager. We just need the icons to be there so that it's active. Make sure you select the door and it says active underneath, and then you can press shift A, or you can just say add, and it will give you a little preview of the door. We're just going to place it roughly in the center there. We're going to place it there. We're going to place a door there, placing a door there and there. And that's essentially where we want all our doors are. To get out of this tool, just press escape on your keyboard. And then we're going to do the same thing with our window tool. So select the window tool, 
click on the little waffle grid, make sure that your icons have loaded, make sure you select the window so it says active underneath, and then you can say shift A, and then it's the same story, just click and place the windows wherever you want them. We just want them in these positions, but you can put them wherever you like. Click and place, click and place. All right. So now we have our external walls, we've got our internal walls, we've got our doors, and we've got our windows. The next thing we want to do is create a drawing. So what we're going to do with that is we first have to save our IFC file. So I'm just going to say Control S. So you can call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it Nan in Bondi. So I've saved my IFC file. You can see it says IFC file project plan in bonsai.ifc is saved. All right, we can't create a drawing before we've saved the file because they're, ex they're stored externally, essentially. So once we've saved it, we can go to Drawings and Documents, which is this little paper stack icon here. If you click on this drop down, it's the fourth one from the top, and it's also the fourth one from the right. Then we're going to go to Drawings, and then we're going to click on this little drop down that says Load Drawings. Then from here, where it says Plan, that's perfect for us, we want a plan. And here where it says Origin, we're going to change it to My Story. So Origin is basically zero, it's the ground floor. And then My Story is that fictional one meter high cut that goes through out the floor, essentially. Then we're going to click on this little plus icon. It's going to add in a camera, which we can see here. To activate this camera, we need to go here to our little drop down where it says plan view. You can see it says one. We're going to select the My Story plan, and we're going to click on this little camera icon that says activate drawing. So we can see that the drawing has been activated. It's a little bit big, so I'm just going to select the camera. You can see it's selected. I've just clicked on it here. And you can also see on the outliner, it's there as well. So I've just selected it, it is orange, and then here in the right hand side I'm going to make this 15 meters, basically. And then you can see this little red arrow is because I have my gizmo turned on, but you can also press G and X to move it left and right. So I'm just centering it over the plan, roughly. I'm going to turn off my snaps so I can have a little bit more control there, and then remember to turn them back on. Then I've got a few issues with my door. First of all, it's very big, so I'm going to adjust the size. So I'm going to select the door. I'm going to go to Geometry and Materials, I'm going to go to Parametric Geometry, I'm going to go to Door, and I'm going to click on this little plus icon. This will give me tools that I can edit the door in, so I'm just going to click on that little pencil icon you see there, that will allow me to edit these values. I want the door width to be 800, so it's a little bit smaller than an average door, and then we can leave the door heights alone, and I'm happy with a single swing left. You can see there's different options, we're going to leave them alone, it's all good. I'm going to say finish editing, and then I'm going to go back to my drawings and documents, and I'm just going to say activate drawing. And you can see our doors are a tiny bit smaller, but they're still facing the wrong way. So in this case, for each door, I'm going to adjust its orientation. So I'm going to select the door. I'm going to make sure I have the door tool selected, but this also works with the window tool. And I'm going to click on flip. So you see it says shift F or just flip. So I'm going to flip it, and then I'm just going to say GY and align it up with the wall again. So again, Flip, GX, GX, and I'm actually going to move this to the end there and say Shift G. That will regenerate the position. And I'm going to move this one a little bit to the side here and say Shift G as well. And then this one I'm going to flip, Shift F, GY, GX, apologies, GX, GY to against that wall, Shift G to regenerate the position. And then I'm going to make this one line up against the wall here, so GX, and then Shift G, and then this door I'm happy with, I'm going to leave alone, essentially. And then this wall is a little bit too long, not that it matters, but I'm actually just going to snap my 3D cursor there and say Shift E, and it adjusts it to the correct length. All right, so now we've adjusted all our doors, our windows are fine, they're all on the outside. We can just say Activate Drawing again here with the little camera icon. Then we can say Create Drawing, and you can see at the bottom here it says one drawing created, and then to view it we just need to click on this little eye icon that says open drawing. So you can see there is our drawing. It has been opened and it's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to close this and we're going to continue on from there. All right, so we've created our external walls, we've created our internal walls, we've put in all our doors and have adjusted them, we've put in our windows and we've even created a plan and printed it. The next thing we want to do is add in some furniture. So conveniently, Bonsai comes shipped with a whole bunch of new libraries right now. So we can go to Project Setup, and we can go to Project Library. So this is in Project Overview, which is the first one. Project Setup, Project Library, and then here where it says Custom Library, 
we're going to scroll down to Furniture Library, which makes a lot of sense. I'm going to go down here to Non-Structural Assets Library. I'm going to go into Type Product. And then here where it says Furniture Type, I'm going to click on this little arrow. So there's a few that we want. I'm just going to do them in order, essentially. I'm going to, I want the one-seater sofa. I want the two-seater sofa. I'm clicking on these little paperclip icons to append them to the file. And then I want the king bed, which is down here. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And I want the medium kitchen bench, which we're just going to use as a TV stand. And then I want the five-seater circular table and the six-seater rectangular table. Alrighty. So to get those um, elements, they've now been loaded into the file. I'm going to click on my little furniture tool, tool icon. I'm going to click on my waffle grid. You can see none of the icons have loaded, so we're just going to click on it again. And now you can see they're loaded. And we're just going to select one. I'm going to click on this one. And I'm just going to say close. You can see it's been selected. And I'm just going to say shift A, or we can just click add. And you see we get a little preview of the, of the chair. So I'm going to click it there. And there it is, voila. And I'm just going to adjust this, rotate in a direction, and put it in that position. Then I'm going to click here. I'm going to select the two-seater. Close, Shift-A, click, rotate 180, and just adjust it as I see fit. Then I'm going to take this one, say Shift-D, X, rotate, GX, like that. Then I'm going to click on the kitchen bench. That's going to go here. It's going to act as our TV stand. And then I'm going to click on the six-seater retail table, and I'm going to say Shift-A. We're going to place it there. We're going to click on the five-seater. We're going to place it there. Then the last thing is the bed. So we click on the king bed, Shift-A. I'm just going to place it GY. Oopsie. Select the bed. GY there. Then another one here. We're going to say rotate 90. GY. GX. Snap it there. OK, so we've placed in all of our furniture items. If we want to see what they look like in 2D, we can go to Drawings and Documents and we can click on the camera icon to activate the drawing. And you can see now everything has been replaced with a 2D version or representation of that item. So we can see clearly what it will look like when it's printed. Right, but before we do that, we want to put in some additional items. We want to put in our sanitary ware, our toilet, basin, and our shower, and our sink. We want to put in our appliances, so that's our fridge and our stove top, and then we want to put in our trees as well, our landscaping elements. So we're just going to load the rest of those from here. So I'm going to go click on back here. I'm going to go to my sanitary terminal types, and in order, I want to get the large sink. I want to get the 90 by 90 shower. I want to get a small basin and this toilet with a cistern. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to go off my furniture tool. I'm going to go to my sanitary terminal tool. Open the waffle grid, make sure our icons are loaded, make sure you select what you want. I'm going to select the generic sink. And then we're going to say Shift A, click, rotate 180, BY, GX, line it up with the window there. Click here, we're going to do our basin, Shift A, rotate Z 180, GY, we're going to do our toilet. Shift A, rotate Z 180, GY, and then we're going to do our shower. Shift A, click, GY, GX, click. Okay, so those are all of our sanitary terminal types. The next thing we're going to do are our electronic appliance types. So we click here, I'm going to do a small fridge zone and a large cooktop, essentially. So to get those, I click here and go to electronic appliance, load the icons, and then select the one you want. So it says active, and say shift A, click, select GY, GX. And then we're going to select the cooktop, shift A, just click it, put it about there, essentially. Should be fine. OK, cool. And then the last thing we want are the trees, so our landscape elements. They cannot be found in the furniture library, but thankfully there are a bunch of other libraries. So we can go down and we can click on the landscape library there. So we clicked on that, then we just need to click on landscape assets, IFC type product, IFC geographic element type. 
And then I want a specific tree just because it's a bit smaller. I'm going to go and get a nanny berry tree, which is there. I'm going to click on that one. Then I'm going to click on this and click geographic element type. I'm going to make sure that that is loaded. I'm going to select it. And then I'm just going to say shift A. I'm going to say I want one there, one there, and one there, basically. So we want to see these elements as 2D projections. So we're just going to go here. We're going to say, so drawings and documents. We're going to say activate the drawing. And you can see everything has loaded in as a 2D element. And then the last thing I want to do is draw in our countertop as a 2D line. So I'm just going to select my annotation tool, which is this one. From this dropdown, I'm going to select the line tool. And I'm going to select a thin line. So I'm just going to say add here. And you can see we get a polyline. I'm just going to say GY, GY, make it minus 600. So that's the depth of the counter. EX, EX, give it a bit of space, minus 50. EY, and then I'm going to grab this and say shift DY, snap it to the edge here, GY, 600. And then just grab this, snap it to the end, grab this E and Y, snap it to there. And then once I'm done there, I just want to make sure I press tab. So I'm out of the uh, edit mode, but I'm still in IFC item mode. I want to press tab again to make sure I'm in object mode, IFC object mode. Once that's done, I can click on activate drawing, and then we can say print again, and we can say view drawing. And there you can see we've got a full plan. The one thing I don't like about the default output is the fact that geographic elements get a very thick line. So we're just going to quickly show how you can edit lines in the simplest way. I've got my file open here. You can see that's where I saved my bonsai file. When you create a set of drawings after you've saved your file, there will always be a drawings folder that is created. When you go into that, it will have your SVG, which is the printed version of your plan or any of your drawings saved there. What we're going to do is go into assets. And then there's this thing called default CSS. This is a text file which handles how lines are drawn in Bonsai. So I'm going to right click that and I'm going to say open with notepad. You can open this with any text editor, um, even Word. <laughs> so don't worry about that. And then we don't even have to scroll down. We're just going to come to this thing called IC geographic element, right? So here's the little warning line. Then the actual information starts. And underneath IFC annotation is a thing that says IFC geographic elements. And you can see there's different information here telling it how it's supposed to look when it prints. All we want to do is change the stroke width from 1 to 0.2. That's just my preference. And this is the thickness in millimeters, essentially. So I'm just going to say File. I'm going to say Save. And then I'm going to go back to my bonsai. I'm going to say Activate. I'm going to print the drawing again, and then I'm going to open the drawing. And you can see our trees now have a nice, thin, wonderful line. All right, that's it. I hope that was helpful. And yeah, you can see how it's just considerably easier to do this drawing, much faster and a lot more intuitive. I'd like to thank my coffee supporters. Without you, I couldn't be making these videos. Supporters will be getting these videos one week in advance, so if that's enough to incentivize you, I'd much appreciate the donation and support. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.